Y'all, today we're doing a quick energy check for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. We're going to pull a spread for the person on your mind and then a spread for you and close it off with three cards for advice. I've already pre-shuffled the cards before we started so it can save time on the video. So we're going to just go ahead and do a nine card block. This is the person on your mind's energy, how they see you, and then their feelings. All right, so the underlying energy is the nine of pentacles. So this person could be like independent from you right now, working on their money. It doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a woman or a man, but they're just in the mode of kind of like their independence, working on themselves, working on their money. So you and this person are probably not like together in this time of this reading. So their energy is the page of pentacles reversed, the queen of swords and the ace of cups. The first thing I get from this is they're in the mode and it's just their perspective and these spreads could be swapped around. This could be yours and the second one could be theirs. So just take it how it applies. But this person, whoever's in this spread, they feel like in the past they learned some things from this connection, like some lessons in the past. So they're trying to be very logical and not let their emotions take control of the situation. They're trying to just be logical about their decisions regarding this connection and in their energy in general. And they're working on loving themselves. They're trying to do the best to love themselves. Basically, that's their energy. How do they see you? The Five of Wands reversed, the Page of Cups reversed, and the Empress card upright. So this person sees you with a very good, they, they look at you in a very high regard. They see you as the Empress card. They could feel like, like if you have kids with this person, that could be why the Empress card is coming up. But this card is just a card that speaks to being very abundant. Very, um, like you're in that growth mode. You're in that glow up kind of mode. But this person does feel like you keep tabs on them with this page of cups in reverse. But maybe that you're not coming towards them because you want to avoid drama or you want to avoid trying to compete for their attention. So you could have felt like you had to compete for their attention in the past. But the thing is, they feel like you're not coming towards them because of avoiding the drama or avoiding the comp competition energy. But they do feel like you keep tabs on them. That's just how they see you. It doesn't have to be the truth. But they also see you as very abundant. And like Empress energy is really good energy. That's all the queens into one card. Their feelings is the Seven of Swords, the Death card, and the Ace of Wands reversed. So they're literally like repressing their desires for this connection. They're allowing it to slowly die with the death card because the death card speaks to something that ends but it takes a really long time and it only ends because both people just quit putting the energy into it this person could have suddenly dropped you with this seven of swords card or it could be that they feel like you lied to them about something they could have lied to you about something they could feel like they're guilty of something so they're just letting it in because of that Either way, just take it how it goes for you. But they do have a lot of pent-up desire for this connection, but they repress their passion for this. So, but the thing is, they see you really good. They have a really good way they see you. So, like I said, you could have kids with them, or it could just be, I just keep thinking about that Empress card. So, let's get the energy for Capricorn, how Capricorn sees this person, and Capricorn's feelings. We're going to get a nine-card block. So here's your energy showing up. How you see them and your feelings. Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So both people are mirroring each other in one aspect. Y'all might have a lot of emotions or at one point in time, this was a very tight knit connection that both people had, a, you know, love and everything, but y'all are really not letting emotions lead you around. You're both in this logical, Queen of Swords cuts shit out without any warning. If she needs to cut it out, she cuts it out. So both people, whoever, if this resonates with you, both people in this reading are allowing their logical mind to make their decisions. They're not letting their emotions pull them around to do things. All right, so your energy is the King of Pentacles, the Five of Cups reversed, and the Ten of Wands. 
you could feel like there's a lot of things that you are trying to change and it's causing you to have a lot of burdens about it because with the Ten of Wands. But just remember, the Ten of Wands is a card that there's a lot of burdens, but you see the house, he's almost in the town. He's going to be able to drop this soon and it's going to be a successful completion. So if there's something you're working on in your finances right now, because the King of Pentacles is here, but the King of Pentacles is also, there's no change. You know what I mean? You're trying to fight matter with matter in your manifestations pretty much in this energy. You know, you're, you're, you got this workload going and you are trying to get some change going, but just know you will be successful in whatever that is that you are trying to get some change to come about in and you are coming out of the energy of feeling abandoned left out in the cold feeling like there was spilled milk in in whatever this connection is whoever this is to you you're coming out of that energy and you could really be focusing on your work in order to help you come out of that energy coming out of the emotional part and trying to focus on your finances and things of the 3d just to get out of being all sad about whoever this is all right, how do you see this person? The Six of Pentacles reversed, the Two of Cups reversed, the Four of Wands reversed. You feel like that the universe has slammed the door on this connection as of right now. You feel like it's very unbalanced. There was a lot of unbalanced energy here, unfairness. You feel like, you know, this connection was not an even give and take kind of thing. So therefore, it's not going very good with this Two of Cups in reverse. And you feel like the universe has come in and slammed the door. That this is not something that there's an opportunity for something to happen as of right now. You have a very bad outlook on anything to do with this coming back together right now. As far as the successful reconciliation energy. Your feelings for this connection. The Tower card in the reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is the energy of avoiding disaster. You feel like you're just going to give up. You're going to give up. You feel like it's a waste of time because you want to avoid a disaster with this person. So maybe whatever it was with that seven of swords and the last spread, there might have been some lies, deceit, cheating, whatever it was for you. And you feel like you just need to give up. It's a waste of time with this person. You can't get anywhere with this person. And you just want to avoid the disaster with the tower card in the reverse. Well, that was short and sweet. So we're going to get three cards from the last deck. And it's just going to be advice for Capricorn. It doesn't have to be for the connection. It can just be advice in general. Whatever the universe wants to pop out. Three cards. Four Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And there's the three cards. So let's see what we got going on. The Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups reversed, and the Queen of Wands upright. The Six of Swords was behind the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is advice telling you to move forward and do it with passion. Because I didn't even realize there was a fourth card here. The Queen of Wands came out and this was behind it, which is the Six of Swords. So move towards calmer waters, whatever that means for you. Okay, take a new, there's, there's availability from the universe for a new beginning in some type of way. It doesn't have to be in love. We don't have to have love to be successful and happy and whole and complete. We don't have to have a love connection for that. So go towards whatever this energy is, this Ace of Pentacles is, and do it with passion. The Six of Swords, you need to move forward towards whatever this new beginning is. If you do have some bitterness against this person with the Six of Cups in reverse, that can speak to having bitterness towards somebody. Take that and transmute it into something that will make you grow. It will be good for you. So whatever it is, you write that shit down. You, everything you can think of that you could have any bitterness towards this person about. And you hold space if you can't do anything else. Just hold space that you're going to come back on this, like later on, and look at this time period when this happened to you. And you're going to see how it jumped you forward in the most positive timelines you can imagine. And if you pull that, you will pull that in. You will pull in those timelines only by assigning this bitter shit a positive meaning. Because anything that happens to us, we give the meaning to it. We make the meaning because we are that damn powerful. And I feel like the universe is telling you that. To move forward with passion with this Queen of Wands. Go towards your Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is something that's a grounded new beginning. And it's because you assign this bitterness, this shit that was 
perceived as bad, you assign it a good meaning. All right, Capricorn, that's been your energy check-in, and thank you so much for watching.